All right, our first step is to get to the URL that we need to edit the site. For if you're on the association side, it's going to be aims.org and then slash admin. That will pull up the login. If you're coming from the foundation side, it would be www.medevacfoundation.org slash imis15. Okay. And in either case, it's going to pull up this, you know, imis15 template. In either case, we would click log on. The reason it makes a difference is um, when you're linking URLs, if you start at the association side, it's going to include aims.org in the link. If you start out on the foundation side, it'll include medevacfoundation.org in the link. That's why it makes a difference. But once you're logged in, it's identical. Um, as I said before, I'm going to log in with that manager account because that's the one I have access to. And it's going to authorize me or authenticate me right now. And boom, I'm at our you know landing page. I see the tabs that are available to me. We're dealing with content management, so I'm running all the way over to the right and clicking content management. And then we're going to see that kind of pretty screen with the pictures and, and menu items. We are updating content, so I'm going to stay on this right hand side of the screen manage content. If I needed to work with navigation, I would click manage site maps. Manage site maps is just a fancy word for updating the menu. Uh, but I'm updating content, so I'm going to click manage content. And it's building that page for me. I can, once that comes up, um, I'm going to drill down to the specific folder that we need to update uh, for you know our purposes. And if you'll notice on the left, I start out with the three parents. Now this these folders might open automatically for you depending on what you know when the last time you logged in and everything. Uh, but if it if it looks different when you're logging in. You could collapse all of these because what we're seeing now are the three roots of, of the three different sites on this server. We have AIMS, uh, the foundation, and then IMIS means that, you know, in this case, we're actually using a website as we, I know we're repeating ourselves here. You know that IMIS 15 is actually a website, so the content management system is a website powered by itself if you want to, it could be a very intense philosophical uh, discussion, right? But that's why we see three yeah, folders. Yeah, I'm going to get lost in that one. Uh, so <laughs> just, just basically, if I expand yeah. AIMS, I'm looking at all the AIMS content. If I expanded IMIS, and, and really there'd be no need for us to expand IMIS, but I'd be looking at you know pages created for the uh, IMIS application. If I open up Medivac, I'm actually looking at the folders for the foundation. Now, we know that this press release that we're updating, we started creating that on the association side. So I'm going to open up Media Room under the AIMS folder. I'm going to drill down a little bit to News Releases. And this is something we started last week. Uh, that, that's why we, I know where we're, we're going. We're basically updating a content record that we created last week. So I'm um, uh, clicking News Releases so it will show me all of the content records over here on the right. And ours started with a T, if I remember right. So I'm just going to uh, wait for it to open up. And then I'm going to scroll down. And I'm on a little tiny screen. So I, of course, can't see anything very well. But I will scroll way down. Your screen is bigger than mine, hopefully. So it's not going to be like this for you guys. Um, this is such a small monitor. This resolution is set that it needs to show me these properties so it only leaves this tiny little amount of room for uh, the story itself. So let me just scroll down here and pick it up. Okay, I'm getting close. There, is that it? Yeah, that looks familiar. Okay, so to edit it I can highlight it and click edit or I'm just more accustomed to double clicking it, so I'm going to double click it. In either case, can I. Just the we can, we can. Let's open it up and we'll uh, start with that. I'm going to also go to mail just for a moment and grab your update. And this is it. I want, this is eight minutes ago, so this is the most recent one. Let's um, let's try it. 
20 minutes of work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm grabbing the most recent one. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna open it up in Outlook. It's just, I just want to make sure I'm grabbing the most recent one. But what I'll do in the meantime, uh, while we wait for that, is go back to um, our page here and um, open up our story. And Cindy, um, if you remember, uh, last time we did a copy and paste in the notepad. Yeah. We'll do the same thing here because the ch there are there a number of changes kind of sprinkled around the document. If there was just one, a couple yeah. small changes. Okay, so just uh, so it's making sense when you're watching the video. We could uh, we could go in if there's just one or two small things, go into those specific areas and update it. That would probably be faster. But since there are a number of changes yeah. kind of peppered through, we're just gonna grab the whole thing and dump it in a notepad and then paste it into the editor. So I'm just waiting for Word to catch up with us and then we'll be all set. So I'll start, uh, the headline is the same, is that no, right? That It's changed too? Okay. So we will, um, I'm going to grab it piece by piece. I'm going to start with the body content um, and what I might do is I'm going to do a control A actually. You probably remember that from last time. Control A is going to select the whole thing. Then I'm going to delete the headline and we'll, we'll handle that separately. We'll see why in a minute. So control A to select the whole thing. Control C to copy it. Pulling up our friend notepad and it's on everyone's uh, Windows machine. Um, mine is in this little shortcut. You may have to dig for it in accessories, but everybody's got it comes with Windows, probably used it before. So I'm going to paste it into Notepad. That strips out all the formatting um, that Word has inserted for us. I'm going to take out that page two break and then um, it's easy enough from here. Uh, I'm just going to grab um, our, our body content for the story and now I'm going to jump back into Content Manager um, I'm, I already clicked the white triangle on configure. So now I'm going to um, run down to this area and start with Alexandria, the, the dateline, I guess, or the, the beginning of our story. And yeah, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. That looks pretty clean. This probably hasn't changed, has it? Um, I just feel more comfortable with this. Doing the whole thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see what that was. That's an aerial one, is what we did there. Okay. So let's um let's delete all of that. Oops, a little bit too high. Okay, boom, that's gone. Let me grab that last line or two. 
with the video, it really there is a delay, so I'm, that's why things are kind of looking staggered. Sorry about that. Since we're recording this, this isn't the most powerful machine in the world. It looks like a supercomputer, but it's not. Um, now here's the trick with uh, Notepad, and I don't remember doing it in this particular exercise, and I don't think I have yet. Just pasting it into Outlook is what we all do when we first start. And everyone always forgets to recopy it from Notepad. So if I don't if I don't do what I'm doing right now, which is Control C, or let's do it in the menu, Edit, Copy. If I don't do that last step, I have accomplished nothing. This was a I don't want to say a waste of time, but to be blunt, it was because if I if I paste. This is why the video is helpful because you can listen to it again and again. So I'll try to be careful. If you paste without copying from Notepad, you're pasting what you originally pasted from Word. Step one: we cop, we select oh, it all. I see. So yeah. you strip out. Yes. Yeah, I so see. I'll do it for the benefit of the video. I'll try to speak okay. clearly. You know, step one: select all from Word. Control A or Edit Select All. Step two: uh, paste it into Notepad. This is what everyone forgets. Step three. Select all or select what you need from Notepad. Last step, I guess, for paste into Content Manager. So here's a question. <laughs> yes. At what point do we correct the um, quotation marks? Like ah, perfect time to do it. Yeah, this is the time to do it. So yeah, good, good catch there. Uh, so I will do that. And we tried to do a, a global search and replace last time. That didn't work in Notepad. Notepad didn't recognize the fancy because symbols so it couldn't do a search and replace that's what we found I'm even going to do because this is probably a fancy apostrophe so um, in fact it was you can see how the apostrophe changed so when you it's it's um, a bit I frustrating but I haven't done the closing ones so um, let's grab whoops I think we did that one but let's just do it again anyway that's another apostrophe so when you, if you know where these are, that's so helpful because they should be replaced. I don't think anything bad happens if you forget, but um, it definitely looks cleaner if we go ahead and get these into. Whoops, missed one there. You would think that this glitch would be corrected after all these years with web stuff. Yeah, it's, we have Microsoft to think. So I tell you, like we said last time, if you write your stuff originally in um, in Content Manager or in a web editor tool, then you don't have to deal with this. It's going the other way. So if you start here, you can always copy and paste into Word, and that's actually easier. But we're all brainwashed to do everything in Office products. Well, we can so do it the other way because we only, we only need that Word document for this. Really, right? That you might find that that's the it's like riding a bike, um, or it's like going to a new restaurant. We're always scared, you know. Tried and true. Let's do it. We know we're going to get a good dinner if we go to this place. Uh, so we're all just programmed. You. It's funny because I've been to some presentations, some conferences where they actually talk about this. With the ad, it, you know, we all we all are married to Outlook, for example, for email. But if you think about it, so little has changed. If you compare Outlook today to what it was 10 years ago, there are differences, but compare like the internet to what it was 10 years ago. I mean, right. geometric changes, right, uh, for, or exponential changes versus, yeah, things are different in Outlook, but it's really that different. So it's just kind yeah. of funny. We're all just conditioned to use Word and, and, uh, and Outlook. All the annoying things about Outlook that you thought they were corrected years ago, they still have not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I am a realist, um, and you know, wouldn't expect you to switch overnight. But you might try it once or twice just to see, you know, wow, so I really did that, save is some that, time. Uh, is that the right side of the position? See, there's in in in, in HTML, there yeah, it's okay. universal. Yeah, so I just need to find them all and uh, and switch them.